Hi guys and welcome to yet another really exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial okay this is the final tutorial about with layers after this we will go and start doing really cool stuff and I promise it will be much more exciting than this of course this is exciting in itself we are learning layers but of course it's layers you know how much one can be excited about onions they have layers okay so uh, as i told you in the previous tutorial with this circle and this square icon how you can target different layers and their stuff inside it okay and then you can work individually on it then there is another way of isolating stuff and then working on there individually uh, one is of course this that you can turn their visibility and uh, 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 on and off and then if you turn it off of course you cannot select it anymore then you are left with the stuff that is visible and not turn the visibility off then you can work on them of course like that but selecting and this uh, uh, the visibility of all the stuff in your layers is a little bit of uh, hard work you know and of course every time you have to select or deselect the visibility of something uh, you have to make sure that the parent uh, folder visibility is not off otherwise the lower parts of stuff will not visible the other way to isolate a stuff that you do not accidentally move around for example i want to just work on the uh, body now uh, head now this area but i don't want to select the head or uh, body which is this area i want it to be isolated so uh, to isolate the head from the body of course you can take a sword and cut it but uh, we are much more civilized than that you can click on this empty uh, next to the eye icon if you don't want to turn off its visibility and you want to keep it as a reference if you click on it then it becomes lock then after whatever tool or thing that you select for example let take the brush tool or any other tool this is not making anything on it it's making in front of it on a separate layer but the its layer inside it is not affected for example let me show you now if i come here i cannot even select it because it's locked if i turn off this lock icon now i can select it but once i click on the lock now it's immune to any sort of uh, you know editing only I can select and edit the head now So this is another way of keeping your work Isolated and focusing on the stuff that you are want to work for example I want to select this anchor point here and move its head or make it smaller or something if this was uh, Lock icon was not selected then there was a chance that I might select this part this part You know, I might be trying and trying trying, you know wasting so much time with it so it's another way to be really organized inside Illustrator by using the visibility and the lock icon. And of course, if you are tired of you know any layer that you have made a mistake, for example, and you want to delete it, for example, let me create a new layer. Okay, this layer. And if you want to delete it, of course you can select it and hit the delete key, or you can just drag it to the eye trash icon and then it's deleted. So with that said, we conclude this uh, uh, mini-series inside the tutorial series of Adobe Illustrator which was about layers and I told you about almost uh, everything that there is about layers that how you can manipulate them and work with these layers and stuff like that you can how you can create new layers and delete them how you can isolate them and what is the use of the layers panel while working on different layers so in the next uh, uh, upcoming tutorials we will be starting to learn how to draw and how to make or do even more exciting stuff than you can ever imagine or i could ever imagine because my imagination is quite limited so guys thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next tutorial